Hello everyone, this is Miss Coomer welcoming you to our online art class. I hope you're all doing well. I've seen so many artworks being shared over our class dojo page this week and I could not be happier. Please keep sharing. This week you'll be creating some artwork inspired by American artist Sandy Skoglund, who sculpts various objects, paints them bizarre colors, and then photographs them. These artworks are called installations. As you can see from these photographs, one is just not enough. She fills her installations with wacky, wonderful, colorful creatures. Squirrels, foxes, dogs, birds, and cats. Today, we will be creating a drawing inspired by her radioactive cat series. Look at those neon green kitties. Let's get started. Alright guys, so let's start our kitty cats. I have here a Sharpie marker and a white piece of paper. The reason I'm using a Sharpie is just so that you guys can see things really clearly. You should really be using a pencil so that way you can erase things that you don't like or mistakes that you make along the way. So let's start with a head. A nice oval that goes from one side of my paper to the other. He's going to have a nice wide face, this cat. Let's give him some ears. So think about the ears, the shape of ears uh, for a cat. And that would be triangles. And let's draw his little arms that are going to come down the side here. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my oval, a little bit in, and then as I travel down the paper, I want that line to sort of curve out and become wider. There we go. Same with the other side. And then to complete the legs or the arms, I'm just going to draw two lines, one here and one here. So he's sort of sitting up looking at us. And now let's do the face. Uh, thinking about shapes again, we're going to have a lot of triangles on this cat. So we had two triangles for our ears. We're going to do another triangle for our nose, except this time it's going to be upside down. So I'm going to draw a straight line with my two lines coming down off of that. And there's a little kitty nose. To do my mouth, I want to make the letter J. Okay, so watch. I'm going to come down and then hook up. I'm going to do the same thing next to it, but this time that letter J is going to be backwards. Give him some little dots where his whiskers can go. If I want to add some little nose details, little nostrils, I can do that. And he's missing his eyes. So this time I'm going to draw another oval, just like I did with the head, except these ovals are going to be a little bit pointy on the end. Nice and big. Cats have real big eyes so they can see at night. Right across from it, the other one. Try and make them the same size. I have trouble with that sometimes. That's okay. There we go. Okay. And then let's fill those eyes in. So usually on a person, the middle of our eyes are two circles. But on a cat, they're actually uh, two lines. Like this. Almost like an oval that stands on its end. And if you want to, you can add some more lines here and here, and here and here. And then, of course, my kitty needs some whiskers, right? There he is. Not done yet, though. I want to add some color. So remember, the kitty kiss that we are doing are inspired by artist Sandy Skoglund. Um, so we don't want to just have a white or a brown or a black cat. We want to give this cat some color. So you can use whatever coloring things that you have at home, whether that's markers or crayons or colored pencils. Maybe you're really lucky and you have some paint laying around. Um, I'm going to use two things. I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to use some crayons. And just because these are Sandy Skoglund cats, you don't have to do a green cat. You can do a blue cat. You can do a purple cat. You can do a red cat. You can do whatever. So I'm going to start with my marker, and maybe I'll do the nose with the marker green. Okay, 
and the inside of the eyes, or not the inside, maybe the outside of the eyes. With that green. I think I'm gonna need my black marker again. We'll use that to color the center of the cat's eye. And I think I want to use the rest of this marker just to sort of bring out the details on the other parts of the cat's face. So I'm going to go like over the whiskers, over the mouth. over all those line details. If there are any other details you want to add to your kitty, uh, go ahead and do it, guys. You want to put a little hat on it, glasses, you can do whatever you like. And then I think I'm going to use a mixture of this dark green and this light green and maybe even a little bit of this yellow to sort of color in the rest of my cat. So again, guys, you can color your cat any way you like with whatever materials you have. Uh, but I'd love to see these posted on Class Dojo. Uh, but I will share some more art with you guys next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.